Hey everyone, uh, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Halo 3 ODST. Um, before I completed, or just before I started this recording, I actually turned the uh, game audio up, but I turned the effect volume down. So, the music should be louder. Ah, oh, perfect. I think that's good. So I've just got to backtrack my way out of this fucking building here. Hmm, I, want to, I want to find better weapons. Well, better than this plasma pistol. Ah, then again. Plasma pistols have a uh, utility of them. Where, uh... They can be charged and then used to pop someone's shields immediately, and that's useful. However, they're not very glamorous. Besides, I'm on normal. That'll do. Oh, this game soundtrack is so good. I would... I would love if I could just have this play in the whole game. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll just mute the actual music in the game and then crank my music. Oh, yeah, check this out. Oh, no, wait, it's on here. Seven. Seven hills. That's Bungie's lucky number. Ascalon. I think Ascalon is a sword uh, in the Camelot canon. For her. Isria. So there's a poster like this that is actually, like, reverse backwards foreshadowing to the game Destiny. Um, keep left. I like the idea of an AI that runs a city. That's cool. Okay. So yeah, the city gets locked into the, these sectors, and every time you open one of these sectors, a big obvious door opens. Actually, let's head down here and see if I can scavenge some more weapons. game makes me want to sit on a rooftop and blow out a cigarette and also to have it be the 1940s and for that to be acceptable. I'm thinking about taking up vaping, but I don't want to be a huge coward. <clears throat> I kind of don't want to have any nic nicotine. Like, I, well, I not kind of, I don't want and I don't need nicotine. I kind of just have like a oral fixation and I like the idea of sucking on something and blowing out steam. I suppose I could just have a hose hooked up to a pot of boiling water in my room, but I think it might mess with our power bill, if not the drywall. Besides, sucking on a hose connected to a teapot is not exactly how I want to spend my Saturdays. I've heard that they actually have some fucking vape sticks that contain melatonin. Which sounds great. <laughs> I would love if there was a more low-key thing, like... Please your tickets. Please your tickets. That's funny. Hello, Traveler. Mombasa welcomes you. Anxious? Stressed? Please remain calm. Control circuits now open with pride. Wait, hold on. Hello, Traveler. Can I... Yeah. I didn't mean to play that. I did that by mistake. Oh, dropship coming in. I love this. I love, I love this like smoky, cloudy city. It's raining. I've got a gun. There's an alien dropship going by in the sky. I love, I love that. That little triptych of like just smoky city. I'm hiding in the streets. Alien dropship above. Beautiful. Anyway, I wish there was a very easily ready, accessible drug that acted as a depressant. Because, like, you can do your cocaines and shit, your methamphetamines for your, for your, 
upper. Or you could just have some caffeine. And caffeine's in fucking everything. And like, hey, don't get it twisted. Caffeine is a legal drug. But for a depressant, you need like fucking, what, DMT? Or like, or even alcohol or something. And like, I don't really think I should be drinking alcohol that much. I wish there was something that just acted as like a calm or a depressant that was like not regulated like alcohol is. Is that burp poop? And then I want to breathe it in and blow it out and be cool. You know, it is unfortunate how cool smoking looks. Because smoking ruins your body and makes you look and sound like shit and makes you smell like shit. And I've never met someone who wasn't a smoker. Nope. I tried to do like double, triple negative. A lot of the smokers I meet are assholes. That was my point. Okay, in the real world, I'm not sure if I could jump this. Especially while remaining perfectly vertical and like pencil jumping over. Oh, we've got a little friend over there. That's the engineer, and he's buffing that thing, which is a brute. However, the engineers are kind of too neutral on this. They just want to do stuff. Okay, cool. Give me that. Now, normally, the thing you're meant to do in a video game like this is violate the Geneva of the Convention and shoot the medic. Which in this case would be the engineer that's buffing them. I have no interest in that, however. And there's actually an achievement for letting all the engineers live. I consider it very noble. Oh yeah, I had a point. Um, smoking is fucking trash. Don't do it. Just very unfortunate how cool it looks. Oh, this thing is weird. This is not built for a... Um, oh, Uplift Reserve is amazing level. Uh, yeah, sorry. This this map system was not built for uh, mouse and keyboard, I think. Where did the engineer go? I didn't shoot him by mistake. I think I would remember doing that, but I never know with me. Come on, come on. There we go. I hope you have some carbine with you. Oh, man, this fucking soundtrack. Every time I see a gun next to a dead soldier, I think of this one moment in Halo 3, which I don't think it's possible for you to have seen yet since I'm supposed to be posting these in uh, chronological order of the actual in-universe timeline. But in Halo 3, you can find a dead Marine next to a pistol. And the pistol is missing its first bullet. Uh, implying that he shot himself. And every time I see that... that the realization of like, oh, he sh... Like, w when I saw that, I was probably like... F how old was I? 12, 14 maybe? The implication that like he shot himself, like that wasn't a sentence that I was used to saying. It was so new to me, the idea that someone could shoot themselves. And yet it made perfect sense, probably because I have depression. Um, especially in the situation you find that gun in. And it just really stuck with me. It's the superintendent. Um... Sorry for the goofy aside. Anyway, yeah, that guy killing himself was pretty uh, important to me. In a sense of, like, learning about death and suicide. 
Because Halo 3 usually, you know, treats death pretty lackadaisically because it's like either a death is like, oh, it's an enemy shoot it, pew, pew, yeah, fuck that guy. Or it's like some grandiose, dramatic Lord of the Rings-esque heroic sacrifice where like everyone salutes them and the guy plunges dramatically into a volcano and like Aerosmith plays or something. But yeah, like, the, the, the quiet death of this miscellaneous marine who just is really, was really just fucking freaking out. I think I might have even mentioned this thing before. Because there's that marine that you can find who is, uh, wigging out on account of the aliens, and he's pretty sure that if he, if the aliens bite him, he will turn into one of them. Which isn't actually how it works, but he's only saying that because it's a reference to a future game. And he's just a game early. Kind of weird, honestly, that that guy was like, ha ha, look at this guy freaking out because he thinks he's going to die to uh, a rather dark part of the series. Sorry, I'm trying to play with the um, visor off. But it's just so useful to have on. Like look look at the look at how the the neon and the 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 harsh chemical lights and the darkness all reflect off of this fucking gun. Just trying to scope ahead and see if I'm in any danger here. Like the 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 quiet remember reach. Hell yeah, my man. This guy got bodied, but luckily your sacrifice lives on with me, bro. Take me shotgun shells, and I'm gonna go kill someone with this. Don't you worry. Ah! Uh, come on. Jesus! I never even saw him. Hey, so yeah, that's one of those uh, famous suicide grunts. Fast, accurate diagnosis, or your money back. Thank you, Virgil. See, it's actually technically called the superintendent, but I really like calling it Virgil. Because fuck, Virgil is, is an amazing name. It's also a literary reference, which I like. Because, like, to be frank, the names of the characters Dante and Virgil from the Devil May Cry series, that's cool, but it doesn't actually mean anything. They're just people who go through hell because they fight demons and shit. But Virgil here being your guide as you go through the... I think there's honestly nine flashback levels, actually. Because the first level is about... The first and last level are about the rookie. And the other nine are flashbacks, as far as I remember. So, Virgil, the superintendent, AI, guiding you through... You just had a plastic... You fucking asshole. Guiding you through the nine flashback mission levels. Versus Virgil, the ghost of a poet, guiding Dante through the nine circles of hell. And by the way, yes, hell has nine circles, even though it only has seven sins. Seven deadly sins. Mostly because uh, betrayal is not specifically a sin. And one of them is, I think, just like the miscellaneous one. Like the miscellaneous circle of hell for people who only did miscellaneous crimes. One of the things that I'm using to guide is... Um, I think I actually picked it up from this game when I was first playing it. Because I, I played the Halo games. I started with three. And then I uh, got this right after. And then Reach came out. Don't and then I played you. Reach for several years straight. Uh, and then I got four when it came out and never finished it. And I never played five. And now I'm returning and playing all of them in chronological order. But yeah, um, the thing that I noticed is that there's this tooltip in... The 360 version, the original version of this game, 
uh, that says, see the dot, take the shot. And it's a pro tip to tell people, if you see a little dot, it means that you're over an enemy's head. Shoot that. Oh, man, I love this game. I haven't been able to play this game for several years because um, I haven't had an Xbox One for several years. Um, and I don't know if I actually owned this game for Xbox One. I'm not sure if Master Chief Collection had ODST on it, actually, for... I certainly never played it. But I only really played it, like, once. I played it uh, twice, maybe, um, when I first got it, which was a couple years after it came out. And I remember, like... I remember that at the time, I thought that I had liked it less than Halo 3. But I had so many more moments with this game that I didn't have with Halo 3. And, um, I'm just using these as binoculars. A couple of months ago, the Let's Play group Achievement Hunter, uh, I'll replace this just so I have a weapon, um, did a Let's Play of this game in Mythic difficulty, Lasso difficulty. Legendary All Skulls On, as you know. As you may know. I'm not sure if anyone watched the, uh, previous series this is um, and I was just reminded of like the moments of this game but the thing is the lasso playlist for this game actually doesn't oh, look at this look look how it fills in the silhouettes that's awesome that is so beautiful god I love this fucking video game Ugh. I think what is this single boulevard New Mabasa Uplift. Handling every package. Engineer? Might be too quiet for people to hear, but I can hear an engineer in the distance. You... Dog! Where... There you are! Anyway, there's there's a button that you can hit in the menu that just plays this game in Lasso. Like, it sets it in Lasso, and it's like, all right, play it, asshole. And it's hard, because it's, you know, Halo and fucking Lasso. Although, this is apparently the easiest game to play in Legendary, which gives me an idea for something, actually. So I really just want to fucking deal with this thing. Oh, I want that gun so bad. So that's what we're looking at. It's a lobster. Drone fighter optics. I'm going to look around some more, though. Just wiggle in my microphone, excuse me. Anyway, when playing this in the playlist mode, which is to say in the button where it's like, all right, I'm playing it in lasso, and they're like, okay, asshole, good luck. Um, it skips all the city parts and just goes between all the level parts. So you play the cutscene, the first cutscene level, and then it goes right to Buck's flashback. And then after that, it goes right to this. And then we'll go next to the, to the next mission. All the way through. All right. You're from Mickey, Dutch? Negative. We need to get above this crap. Let me get the, bean the sound back up. must have seen where they hit. Okay. Jesus. Okay. Dutch. Uplift Nature Resolve. 30 minutes after drop. You know, very, very quick. I don't know why I said that. It was pretty apparent. Anywho. Good I love the teeth on his helmet. I love anything like that. Oh, yeah, Spartan Laser. 
So I've been recording for a good while, so I'm actually going to take a little break here. I'm going to pop my arm back into place. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Thanks for coming by. I've been Alfred. This has been Halo 3 ODST. See you guys in the next episode. Thank you.